Greetings, Varekama I here, of Varekama Mystics. And um, I've come in to do a impromptu um, reading. Spirit moved me to do this reading for this season, which is known as the uh, Finning of a Veil, where the spirit realm is more accessible to us in our physical realm and um, through our physical senses. Well, but kind of, I'm just kind of getting ready right there. Just meaning that spirits can be seen more easily, readily at this time. Okay, whether we're attuned or not, it's there. And this um, season lasts until springtime. But, and um, Libra starts it off. It's the winter months, the autumn months and uh yeah so this is a spirit message for all the signs how do i get like this scorpio feeling a bit um nervous apprehensive um mm. let's see what the cards say because you know what i just and we have um gonna do a tarot deck reading and then we have a crystal message and I got two decks for clarification, one angel message and uh, my regular uh, playing cards, which I love using as well. Um, and the feeling that I get resonates with this crystal message that you have, which I'm just going to discuss straight off, which is natural agate. And it's a number two and it's uh, resonating with Venus and a sun pole there is this one. Okay, and all this antsiness that I got there is showing me that we need to be more grounded. We need to ground ourselves, especially now that we have um, Jupiter in Scorpio, which will be there for a year. And, you know, Jupiter is the expander, the higher mind, the intellectual, the, you know, it's very much spirit led, but we still have to be both in and out. That's yin and yang. Um, that's one foot up. <laughs> one foot up. yeah maybe one foot up and one foot down then you know um grounded you have to keep grounded okay definitely that was that straight like oh, oh. i wasn't like that a few minutes ago <laughs> you know and so we do the tarot readings we always go with our feelings as an intuitive reader that's definitely what we do all my teachers and people that i look to give thanks for you all um show me this and it just resonates so much better when you do Gonna be shuffling here. Okay. Hey, what is right there? Hard flipped. Yep. There we go. Okay. We have so far the full major arcana and um, four of pentacles and the knave of chalice. Two of cups. Three of pentacles. And Queen of Chalice and Nine of Pentacles. Who went to go that? Hey, oh my god. So they're just flying out in chunks right now, and I can't read all of that. Oh, maybe Scorpio picking up too much. <laughs> That's like a funny message. If you know me, you know why. <laughs> Nothing that you can't handle, I'm sure. Even if you don't know me now, you know why. I'm sure. <laughs> if you're on top of the game. Okay. So, um, oh, nice. Let's see. Let's start again. <clears throat> you have the full. 
four of pentacles the knave of chalice Hold that in. Need to see first. the two of cups the three of pentacles the queen of cups nine of pentacles the seven of pentacles the high priestess and the three of wands and underneath the deck we have the six of wands okay nice spread really very good with all that anti feeling it's because there's a lot going on that's why right no worries again nothing that you can't handle have to take your time water as often as you can take time breathe and take time to yourself as well there's new beginnings coming up okay you're holding on tight to certain things but you're realizing that there is a new emotion or something popping up yes in love and you want to work at it mm -hmm. you're growing into more mature emotional feelings you've worked hard at it <laughs> it's good You've had to rest on your low. You well, you felt like you was resting on your lows, is it? Okay. Spirit just said you felt like you was resting on your lowers, but you've done a good job. You've done a, a lot of work already. Like pat yourself on the back, innit? Don't be your worst don't be your be your best critic. Don't be your worst critic. Okay. Like use your intuition. Keep using your intuition. That's the best guidance. Tune it to your higher self and you will be where you're supposed to be. The three of wands at the end. Well, the even card. Three of wands. Underneath the three of pentacles, too. Hmm. Spirit saying there's um, some spirit connection that you're being making. You're making align yourself with that not so good and you're feeling like you're you're working at something that actually is and it may not be so again take the time to also fall back your intuition is guiding you subtly frequently subtly but frequently so listen in, tune in, stay tuned in, don't tap out, <laughs> for real, for real, especially at this time. You're making some associations that are not for your best interest. If you keep on looking to your inner guidance, you'll come out victorious. Because otherwise, there'd be more spiritual indecisions, and you don't need that. So, tune in. Let's, let's, let me let me clarify this three of one there. This three of one say. Yes, good. Thanks, Bella Dutch. I do love her. She's been um. Um, go, going in about um clarifications and I, initially i didn't do clarifications on the page because like um it's just a general reading i think it was like i didn't feel the need to be going banging into it but she made good points that people are actually watching these things and a few people that i've you know spoken to and just realizing some people can't afford to pay at the time and they need the messages still and i'm always that half and that so I definitely want to help wherever I can, but I didn't even see it like that. But, you know, at the same because most times I, I, I watch our free ones and don't pay for it because I don't really feel I need, because I do this myself. Obviously, you don't get twisted. Even I need to go to somebody, and we all do. Um, But not all the times I feel it taxed to do so. And so just a little freebie there, and then my own guidance is where, where it serves me best. So, you know, give me a second. I'm 
going back to the clarification but yeah give thanks for that and so i thought yeah it makes sense because sometimes if we're just doing vague then people can get that's why i even try to eliminate doing the sun moon or rising sign just sticking to the sun signs when i'm doing the zodiac signs because it just eliminates the confusion and even with um just the general readings like if people can't get to a personal reading and they have a general like let's try to be as far as we can so then they get a fuller scope whether it's this whether it's them or not you know and people don't try to squeeze yourself into any situation if it doesn't sound like you or your situation like don't try to fit it all right because that shit gets like into trouble unnecessarily so i'm trying to figure out what the three of wands is um it's a spirit saying it's a communication with people that you thinking is good to build with but they're not okay so you have to take heed of the message that you've already received about these situations and fall back first you have the ten of pentacles Okay, ten of diamonds. That's work, that's money, that's your stability, your finance, and the abundance of it. That is peak. And that's what these people are probably realizing that you're about to get to. <laughs> and um eesh, spirit said they want to fucking drive. Watch it. They want to suck you dry. Shit, man. Vampires are all about. And again, at this season, this is why I was moved, I guess, because there is going to be a lot of that going on right now. Because this is, this is a time when people feast. The Eight of Cups. Eight of Hearts. Eight is infinity. That infiniteness. That beyond the veil. You know? to do with your emotions so they will be tackling your emotions it will be through emotional tactics i guess how many more oh, oh. okay queen of swords this queen of spades so what that i think is here just like that um queen of spades and then you have the eight of diamonds the eight of pentacles queen of spades so it's an air sign a sign woman. There's a lot of eights coming up for you here. Eight of clubs, which is eight of wands. And then the four of pentacles, four of diamonds. What's this saying? The past life connection with air sign. Not necessarily a... Um, a female it could be a male with like um feminine energy to do with business and work and the foundation how you're building up your foundation in your career that's what they're tackling trying to get into the emotions Awusa. Okay. Anything else? Divine guide. Angel messages. Okay. I hope that is clear for somebody. That's the divine guidance messages. Full scope of please. Grounding, grounding. Stay, stay in your intuitiveness. Okay. Don't. Don't stray from that because it's guiding you. It's been guiding you so well. Like, just heed the messages in it. Don't get all in your physical. You have beauty. Yeah, Scorpios are known for being very beautiful. Attracting people by their beauty. And, you know, I always say beauty exudes from within. imagination and forgiveness okay beauty begin beauty beginnings imagination and forgiveness
Again, you're starting off with something new. Many things have already started for you. Keep using your imagination. Forgive your past loves and hurts so you can move into this new future. Okay? And keep being mindful of the people outside of you, business-wise, as you're growing. Victory is yours there, okay? So just do what you do, but keep wise, okay? Keep generating from your heart. And use your wisdom. Much love. Peace. Light. Star.